Hi everyone, it's Naya um, from Teshi by Naya Rose and today I just wanted to speak to you about finding fabric. So a lot of people think that fabric has to cost a lot of money and that you have to buy something that's £15 a metre or that having something handmade or even sewing yourself has to be expensive but it really doesn't. So one trick is to use bed sheets. So these won't be appropriate for every project, but there's a lot of things that you can use these for. So some bed sheets that I've got, like this pattern here, and then this lovely one here, and that's the pattern. And what's great about the ones that I've bought, they're 100% cotton, which means they're going to be comfortable, breathable fabric. So. Even if it's hot, you can wear them. And if you do sweat a bit, it will draw that moisture away from your body. But one of the best things about this is the price. So it says, oops, I'll show you that. It says £6 on here, but I actually got these for £3 because I got them from Matalan and they had 50% off of everything that they had. So a dress that I've started to make from this beautiful bed sheet here is this by hand London Anna dress. So you can see this is the bodice. So it's got kimono style sleeves and then some lovely darts there. And this is the back. And it's absolutely beautiful print. And when I finish making this dress, I'll put it on Instagram. But you'll see that it's a floor length dress with a flared skirt. So because my bed sheets were singles, I bought two of them because, as you can see here, the print was only on the front. But if the print was on the back, I could have just bought one because the fabric measures 135 centimetres by 200 centimetres. So it's 135 centimetres wide and then 200 centimetres in length. And because of the nature of this dress being maxi, I needed four metres. So if I'd even if I decided to do a purple and the print, I could have just paid three pounds. But to make this dressing notes costed me six pounds and then the price of the zip. So it's excellent. And this is something you can have a look for if you go into Tesco, anywhere. Um, you can see in their homeware store, even online, there'll be sales. So it's a great way to, um, to buy fabric. And what you can do is I'll show you what they look like inside so I'll just open this one so remember this was three pounds for four meters of fabric if you include the the gray print and the floral print and then you get a pillowcase as well because um, it's a bed sheet and it's also a great, a great way to um, recycle as well. You can even use bed sheets that you've got at home that perhaps you don't use anymore. So that's what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful print. And you've got this nice grey colour on the back and you can make, um, you know, whatever you want from that. Um, it'd be lovely for springtime or summer. And then that's the matching pillowcase. So you actually have over four meters of fabric here because you have the pillowcase too, which is great for, um, you could cut a few bodice pieces from this or sleeve if you want to dress. So what you would do is I've got my sheets here for what I'm making my dress from currently. And I absolutely love this print, a bargain for, for three pounds. You just, would separate these two two layers and then you can treat it as fabric that you would buy off of the roll so what I did for this one is I used a mixture of of cutting and then um, I can't remember what you'd cut just pulling it apart to separate them and then I've just used that print to create my dress and then I'll have this fabric for something else maybe I want to test a pattern or if I want to make a top, a skirt, another dress. So you have all that fabric. So I'd highly recommend that, but it's good. A few tips, just look at the content of the fabric. So whether it's polyester, sorry, 
poly cotton or cotton fabric as cotton fabric is nice because it's breathable polyester is less breathable because it's like a type of plastic but you'll have a lot of clothes made from this um, fabric and you might notice that you feel a bit hotter in them and more sweaty so just check what the content of the fabric is and also you can go to markets there's places to buy fabric online for a cheaper price so buying fabric doesn't have to break the bank you can literally say I'm gonna devote a tenner and I'm gonna get fabric to make a full length maxi dress or something like that you just have to be savvy about where you buy from so I hope that this has been helpful to you all if you ever have any questions about fabric or where to buy from if you want any recommendations or anything and um, feel free to um, send me any questions that you have take care bye